Statistics revealed by the Trussell Trust on Thursday shows that more people across the country are in need of using food banks. The charity also has a large food bank in Salisbury, and due to the increase in demand, it's once again been an important part of the community. Nationally, we've seen um, a 1.6 million food parcels going out across the country, uh, which is really quite sad. Um, in Salisbury, we've seen four, over 4,000 uh, food parcels going out this year, and over 1,000 of those have gone to children. Uh, and this is a 19% increase on last year, so it's a real concern for us that our community is obviously struggling. There are people that are needing our support, um, and whilst we don't want to be there, we will be there until we can find some re resolution and food banks are needed no more. As Lucy said, the use of food banks has not only increased in Salisbury, but on a national scale as well. More than one and a half million food parcels were given out in the last year, which is up 18.8% on the previous 12 months. Lucy says there could be a couple of reasons for these statistics. Uh, we've certainly seen an increase since Universal Credit has been rolled out. Um, whilst it, uh, it's a good benefit system in the long run, uh, there are severe delays in uh, the changeover from the old benefit system to the Universal Credit. We've seen people facing five week delays with no income coming in and obviously that's had a great impact. Uh, we've also seen many clients visit us with low incomes or on zero hour contracts um, that simply the wages are not keeping up with the costs of today's living and people are struggling to get by. More and more we're seeing people in work that are still needing to rely on a food bank. The Salisbury Food Bank has been well supported by the community over the years and thanks to them they have been able to help those who need it most. Lucy says she hopes the people of Salisbury will continue to be so giving. Well, the community in Salisbury are brilliant and we really do depend on their support and they've been fantastic over the years. We just uh, pray and hope that they will continue to support us in that way, that they'll donate food. We've got collection points in the supermarkets um, and we often do extra collection days and people can bring food into our warehouse here. But also we need financial support in order to sustain our services um, and we have a great website. If you go on Salisbury Food Bank website, you'll be able to see other ways that you can help Help us and we'd gratefully receive any help that you can give. The Salisbury Food Bank has been in the city for 19 years now and Lucy has stressed the importance of making sure people aren't reliant on the services they provide. Obviously um, nobody likes to be in a situation where they have to depend on a food bank and um, you know we want to restore dignity, we want people to gain independence and not have to rely on, on us. We've got a big team campaigning in London, in government, to change some of these uh, benefit delays, to change the circumstances for wages so that people are more supported, so that in the long run we don't have to have food banks. But whilst, as I said before, you know, whilst there's a need we will be there. These statistics make for sad reading, but the Salisbury Food Bank say they will continue to try and help people as much as possible for as long as they need it. Jack Deary, That's TV.